Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have completed, we have successfully created this notification service class, right? Now in this video, we will try to use this, make use of this notification service class. As I already told you that where we, where, where we need to use this one. So whenever the user adds the post, update the post or delete the post, we need to call this notification service. So how can I call this one? So let's try to inject this notification service first. So if you go into this, uh, where is this constructor? Constructor is a lot down, I think. Yeah. So here let's inject the notification service. Notification service. Okay. So it should be something like notification. So notification service. Notification service. Yeah. So we have added this notification service. And let's try to take this notification service and here. So where we need to add this one, so that depends. So if you want to add it here, HTTP.delete means you can add it. So or otherwise you can add it here also. So that depends. So I right, right now I am adding it here so that it will be very convenient for us. So I am using the dot pipe of tap operator. So let's in, try to inject this tap operator. So hope it is injected, I think. I don't know my, my, why my system is not importing these all the things. Okay, let's try to check. So we need to have this one. So pipe of tap operator. So in this tap operator, so post, I can use this post. So we are getting the post. And when this post is successfully added uh, to the server means, so I will call this notification service. Okay. So I will call this notification service dot. So we need to call set success message. Here we need to call the success message, right? So I can call post added successfully i can use this method post added successfully in the same scenario so here i can copy this pipe of operator okay and here i can take this one so this one is updated post to server right so i can add post updated successfully so here this is the delete operator and in this delete operator also here i can add the tap operator and in this one i can write post deleted successfully okay that's it so that's it oh we have added here a double pipes right so there is no need for us to add again pipe so here this is uh, somewhat little bit uh, confusing so uh, why because we have already added the pipe operator here so let's try to save it okay so before this my map operator wherever you want you can add it just i am adding here so that's it so yeah, everything is perfect. So post added successfully, updated successfully, deleted successfully. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to click on this update post, uh, if I try to click on this update post, so we are able to submit, but we are not showing the error message. Why we are not showing the error message? So we need to add that one in the template UI. So where we can add that one in the global? So I totally tell the global, right? So I am using the app component.html. So this is the global one. And here, let's open this app component dot uh, app dot com. Where is this app dot component dot ts file? First, we need to get the success message and the error message. So here, I can take such a way that success message. Okay, dollar. It is a observable, right? So now here also we need to import this notification. So notification. No, sorry, private notification service is equal to notification service so i am having a notification service that's it and here i will try to do this dot now notification notification service so we need to get a notification i need to get the observable success message action so okay so in the same scenario we try we will try to get this error message also error message dollar as this one is an observable and here i can call this dot notification service dot error message we will try to get this error and here we can call error message action so error message action this one is also completed so now we need we we got the both observable success message and the error message and let's go to the app component dot html and in this one here we will populate this message so let's take this one uh, container okay so we will have it in a container so down also container is there if you want you can also add it there so just i am taking it here 
so here this one is class alert so this one is a success message alert type on success i am using the bootstrap classes here so if ng if okay so where is this ng if first time i got it ng if so ng if success message so as this one is success message we have the observable success message dollar of async i am using the async as success message i will take this one as success message and here i will show that success message here that's it success message okay in the same scenario i can paste it here and i can take this one as a danger okay so here i will be using this error message where is this one yeah so here i need to do error error message right so this error message i need to take here and i need to paste it here also that's it so we have both the things something like success message and also the error message we are showing like this now if i try to see the output so let's try to see the output if i click on the update post see now we are able to see that post updated successfully we are able to see the message and also if i go to the declarative post so still we are able to see this one so if i go to this add post and if i try to add something so let's try to add it something and here if you try to see here so post added successfully we are able to see the message but what we need to do so we need to somehow we need to add a close action something like that here or otherwise after two minutes or after three five seconds or something like that this has to go away so how can you do this one so let's go to this app component.ts and here this is the success message so whenever we got we, we get we get the message okay whenever we get the message so we need to clear the message so when we need to clear the message so we will call the set timeout here okay so i will be calling this set timeout and in this set timeout so after 5 seconds okay so after 5 seconds means 5000 after 5 seconds or after 5 seconds so i need to call the this dot notification so this is for this reason i have added the clear message also so i can use dot clear messages so i can use clear all messages so whether it is success message or anything i can use this clear all messages so he, here we didn't use anything or what tap tap we need to use the tap okay so tap operator let's try to import this tap operator also that's it fine hope this one is working fine so what could be the error here mm, something has gone wrong oh sorry so let's try to copy this uh, set timeout and let's try to remove this tap operator okay so i am using the tap operator and in this one message you will be getting and here we need to add this one okay so that's it so tap operator also is completed in the same scenario what i can do i can take this tap operator so i can take this total pipe of tap operator and i can add it to this what i can say to this error message also and that's it so it will clear all the messages so if you want means you can also what i can say is you can also create a method and you can call that method by calling in that one set timeout also you can do that one also that depends on your situation so now right now i am keeping the code hard coding the codes i like that only so here when i try to add this one so let's try to show this networking so here post added successfully after five minutes it will go after five seconds it will go away hope it should go away see see it has went away so if i go to this declarative posts also if i am in the add post also so if i click on update post so post updated successfully and it will go away after some time okay so that is the thing we have did it okay hope you understood about this notification thing so wherever you want to show the success message you can call this set success message so that it will show automatically in the app component so this is how we will be setting the notification service in the next video what i will try to do is so for example if i added on the click on the update post now what it has to do is it has to go back to this declarative post automatically it will it will now it should has to navigate automatically to this page and it should uh, show that post updated successfully or post added successfully in this page okay in the next video we'll try to see that one and uh, and after that we'll close the this declarative reactive grouping hope I, I i think that i have completed all the scenarios i have did it so remaining scenarios also one and the same like this only it will be there so if you practice means you will be able to understand so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.